Well, this is Bob Davis 321, back again with another Raspberry Pi and LCD demo. I've changed the sketch program now so it reads analog ports and uses that value for the screen. Built a little control panel with a control panel. The top two are X and Y, the bottom three are actually it's blue, green, and red. Somehow I got them backwards. Uh, anyways, with this setup, I can actually change the color as I'm drawing. Basically, I can uh, turn a knob and adjust the color so you can have basically uh, infinitely variable, well not infinitely, uh, 256 colors, shades of each of the colors, red, green, and blue. This is also on an SSD, uh, what is it, 1289? Yeah, 1289 display. This is a 3.2 inch display, I do believe. Uh, I adapted it because you have to use both rows of pins on the back side. I adapted it using a uh, flexible ribbon cable into the previous setup for the last LCD. Uh, let me show you the demo. Well, it helps if I get the right one. Of course, we're doing the the parrot. And after the parrots, we do some text in color. That's currently limited to seven colors because of the code. And then, of course, a clear screen. And then we have the etch a sketch. Currently, I must be in yellow. These are multi-turn adjusters, which is great for the X and Y, but it's hard for changing colors because you have to turn it forever to change a color. That's white. Turn off the green. That's purple. Turn uh, off the red. I got that backwards. Apparently I didn't turn off the red. Like I said, the colors don't line up right with the knobs for some reason, but I'm sure it's a coding mistake. But basic concept is you can program any color you or basically by turning a knob, select any color you want. So that's a different shade of red. So we have infinite colors now on our Raspberry Pi etch a sketch. Yep, I ended up back with yellow again. Turn the green back up. This I thought was a blue. Yep, that's a blue. So green and blue is cayenne for those who know the weird color names. So there you have a, a full color etch a sketch where you can infinitely adjust your colors by turning potentiometers. That's all for now.